Hello guys, thanks so much for tuning in to watch this video. This is Alan with Hernandez Elite Gaming. And on our video today, guys, I'd like to do a quick overview of what's happening uh, with Microsoft, Xbox, Windows app, and over to the Battle.net from Activision. As we all know, Microsoft has acquired Activision, Blizzard, all the games, the entire company. And they did promise us that there will be these games available on the store over at the Microsoft side. And for the lucky few of you like me who have the Xbox Game Pass, um, you're going to be able to see most of these games starting to be available. I personally noticed some things. So I want to dive in a little bit deeper. This would be a first impression for me as to what's happening. I'd like to share that with you gamers as well and see what we do from here. I think I know what I'm going to do and I'm going to be sharing that with you guys as well, which I think is going to be a good idea to do so. And so please, as always, keep watching this video let's jump right in do not forget to like share and please subscribe if you have not all right guys let's go ahead and dive in here um so one thing that we begin to see over on the left side which is the xbox app is that we have now access to the new Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3. So they've added this, and it seems as if it will come in a bundle, giving you access to other additions and add-ons like Warzone. So technically, is what we would expect to see over from the Battle.net on the right side, um, where we used to, right you now can download the game and it's included with game pass now obviously most of us already have purchased the game on battle.net whether or not in the future for those of you who do not have game pass will we be able to move over or download the game without having to purchase it again because as you can see here it gives me an option to buy, however, because I have Game Pass, it's letting me install it at no cost. But the fact that I already purchased it on Battle.net, that's a, an option to find out. Um, and it reminded me of back when I had purchased games on Steam and I wanted to later organize my games and keep them over to UBI Soft or electronic arts ea games and i was able to one by one validate the license he knew that i have purchased it and then now uh, i have my library of ea and ubi games so i like to have that idea here how we do that of course is to uh find out how how we go about that but i'll let you figure that out i mean my example i'm not going to worry about that now because i have game pass which is a good thing we also have uh diablo here as well which is another new game that i have uh purchased myself and i kind of like it too and it's also from um activision slash battle net if we look at a little deeper now as a first impression um, we have Overwatch, another popular one. Let's see if they even have that. That has not been transitioned yet, it looks like. Now, they did mention that they're going to be moving the games over slowly. I would expect, as we see here, this is proof that they're moving the most popular, as expected. Call of Duty is definitely going to be their most popular popular game and we can see them here as well another interesting thing to keep in mind guys is that call of duty black ops 6 will also be part of the xbox transition so we can see here it's going to be available on game pass and we can install it at no cost with 
Game Pass. So we can start to see that Microsoft has kept its promise in rolling out all Activision games over to the Xbox Store. Now eventually, um, the Battle.net app and Activision uh, side of things will become one with Xbox. So this is why I would definitely recommend that you make the Xbox a primary uh, go-to for your gaming. And once we begin to introduce, for example, Game Pass in the mix, guys, there are lots of other games from other developers. Bethesda games are here. EA games are here, right? Very popular titles as well. And in addition to that, we can begin to see the cloud side of Xbox as well. So very interesting to know that not only um, Battlefield, I'm sorry, not only Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is part of Game Pass and on Xbox, but now coming soon, Black Ops 6. That is exciting to know because being a Game Pass user, I'm definitely going to be making the Xbox app a primary go-to for my games. And especially now that Call of Duty, we can all agree probably, is one of the most popular comeback games for shooters at this moment. Now, of course, with Microsoft, Xbox, you do have other popular games, Gears 5, Halo, and a few others. But now the, the introduction of linking, syncing other gaming services, we can begin to see now the ability to see EA, UBI, uh, Bethesda, and other game publishers, developers as well become part of Xbox. Keep that in mind. And I think personally what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, considering that Microsoft purchased, acquired Activision, uh, they're slowly going to be transitioning everything over to the Xbox app for PC and for console. So it's my opinion that it probably makes the most sense to uninstall your games from uh, Battle.net, install them over on your Xbox, and then uninstall the Battle.net app. And this way, you're able to keep things independent in their own way. And it makes a lot more sense because eventually, everything will become Xbox as far as the app goes. And, you know, as you already know, you got the Game Pass, let's say, and you can literally get almost any game and when you begin to link them with EA, UBI and other games um, brands you're able to download other games as well in this example look I'm able to link EA games to my Xbox obviously you'll have access to other Microsoft like games and now they're starting to introduce um, Battle.net Activision Game. So ideally, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and, for example, uninstall it from here. Okay, this is what I would recommend is uninstall it from Battle.net in this example. Let's go ahead and do that again. Boom, boom. Because eventually what's going to happen is that I'm sure that, yes, you can still use this app. And you can still use it to download and play all the games. But to be frankly honest with you, I only play Call of Duty and Diablo from here. I don't really play all their other games that are teenager, kindergarten. You know, it's not really my type of thing. World of Warcraft, Overwatch, I don't play those things. Call of Duty, however, um, is the only one that I play. So I would definitely just... Uh, do that and to do so if you are liking this idea I'll go to control panel 
Programs and Features. This is Windows 11. I'll find the Battle.net application. I'll go ahead and uninstall it from here. Okay, the game is running or being used by Battle.net. Either cancel or uninstall. Okay. Uh, it looks like I need to close Battle.net. Is that what's happened? Yep, I need to close Battle.net. There you go. Now I'll try again. So this is personally what I'm going to do and what I recommend you guys do as well is to uninstall the app, uninstall the games, and then just solely rely on Xbox for PC and or console. Now, this is more related to the PC side, of course. As always, guys, you know, I just wanted to come on and share that with you. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, post comments below the video. Uh, one last thing too, at any given time, you guys have questions, you need help, uh, please come over to HernandezEliteGaming.com and you have several options. One, you can book a call with me at no calls, we can talk. If you got any questions about gaming, upgrades, customizations, builds, uh, product you're looking for, things like that, I'm able to help you. Uh, do those things and soon enough we're going to be releasing uh, a course uh, that's going to be all learning as far as helping you learn custom builds uh, customizations to your laptops or desktops I'm also going to teach you some things about building a community um, where you profit and make money through your gaming uh, experience and so there's going to be obviously things like I can help you if you're local or through virtual uh, service, do upgrades, build setups. You able go, you're going to be able to basically purchase, um, you know, the cores. You're going to be able to purchase the custom builds. And of course, from here, guys, you're able to play any of my uh, other videos that are obviously on YouTube as well. So check out the website. I'm actually working on this new design um, still live editing happening and so but check it out especially so if you want to talk to me come on and book a call with me as always thanks so much for watching thank you for being here i look forward to your comments and i look forward to gaming with you if i see you online thanks so much for being here and i look forward to my next video take care